bill has been a, it has been a process in the Ninth Assembly. Mm -hmm. So, and our president now is one of the people that had campaigned before, even under Buhari, when he was campaigning for Buhari, he campaigned about student loan. Sure. Buhari didn't do it. Mm -hmm. So it's now his turn to be president. I think it's an idea he likes. Okay. He wants to implement it. He wants to try it. So I guess that was why he found it really easy to sign into law the student loan. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the integrity of it, it's yeah. kind of very complex. So let me use myself as an, as an example. This loan policy, you know, stipulates that before you get the loan, you have to get maybe two guarantors. Yeah. They're about yeah. a, a lawyer, a justice of peace, uh, maybe pastors or uh, traditional rulers. Mm -hmm. There's level 12 civil servants and stuff yeah. like that. So if this policy had been implemented when I was about to get into the university or when I was in school, I probably wouldn't have been able to assess it mm. because I don't have a level 12 civil servant in my family. To serve as a guarantor. I don't have a lawyer in my family. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people don't have these people that could qualify to mm. serve as guarantor. Mm -hmm. So what are you exposing them to? You're exposing them to corruption and bribery. So some people will take their offices as JPs and lawyers and mm. all sorts and be a starting student. So you ask, please sign for me as a guarantor. Mm. How many percent are you giving to me? Mm. So you have opened another window of corruption that is going to discourage people then you start, you have to get it to the um, student affairs here, yeah, you have to take it to the student affairs, and when you take it there, just corruption tendency are always there. Mm. I know you, I don't know you, SG president can help you, SG president cannot help you, <laughs> all of those things, because they happen when we're in school and we're trying to get bursary. Mm. So you are going to open another door for, for corruption. And secondly, the term, say, the, the another of the term is that, you you have to your parents have to earn less than five hundred thousand. Okay. If your parents are any five hundred and fifty thousand, you are totally disqualified out of it. Okay. But then your parents have three kids in the university at the same time. <laughs> and once this loan is implemented, they are definitely going to increase the, the price of tuition. You are going to be paying school fees for now. They don't even pay school fees. You know, federal schools don't pay school fees. You will pay school fees, so maybe students will be asked to be paying as high as three hundred thousand to five hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. And now, because your parents combined together are any five hundred and fifty thousand, the three of you that are in the university, you are disqualified out of it. Where do they expect to get the money from? So they really have to look into it very well. It's, it's really complex.